Okay, that's what's left after a six pound roast. Pork roast, that is. I cut it all up. I got a bunch of fat, a little bit of bone there I'm gonna use for some uh, beans. Over here, I have a great big, this is about a six or eight quart pot or plastic bowl of uh, cut up meat. I'm gonna put this in the pressure cooker, put it in the jars, half pint jars. I'm gonna pressure can it for 90 minutes. After I get it in the jars and uh, get the lids on them and get ready to put them back in the pressure cooker, I'll uh, get back to you guys. This is my first uh, attempt at uh, pressure canning pork. I had done chicken here a while back and it turned out really, really good. Thanks to Perry Ripito t telling me how to do it. So for right now, country man out. Uh, a little bit of good stuff here. Peach wine. It's working on uh, bubbling away. So we shall see how that turns out. Misty Shooter 223 uh showed me how to do that so country man out i'll be back in a little while all the jars are almost in there half pint jars full of my pork i got my coffee cup i got my canned lids going over here over here i got my jars packed with pork what i've been doing i got me a towel here it's wiping it with vinegar. It's really hard to do this with one hand. Get my lids. Put them on there nice and straight. And I am going to get I believe it is 14 half pints out of that six and a half pound uh, 14 and a half pints out of that six and a half pound uh, uh, roast so I'm gonna go ahead and screw the lids on these and uh, bring it up to 10 pounds of pressure I'm gonna let it steam for 10 minutes bring it up to 10 pounds pressure and then I'm going to cook these for about 90 minutes. I just want to make dang sure they're nice and done. And uh, when I come out, when they come out of the pressure canner here in about an hour and a half, I'll get back to you and uh, show you the finished product. Country man out. 14 pints, half pints of uh, pork, raw pork that I uh, canned for 90 minutes. I put me a teaspoon of uh, salt on top. They're bubbling pretty good. I hope you can see that. They're, uh, I put vinegar in the water. That way your uh, jars don't come out cloudy. Looking pretty good right now. I've got one jar here that wasn't quite full. You can really tell that it is uh, bubbling pretty good. And uh, the meat looks like it's done. And uh, everything turned out pretty good. So, if I can do it, anybody else can. I'm a fat old man with little income and I'm still prepping to put back and uh, everything is looking real good I want to thank Paula Allen for the big old uh, pressure cooker and the recipe for doing this and all my other prepper fans that uh, keep watching my videos country man out from now God bless everybody have a good one